Greetings, Sir Isaac. Your work has laid the foundation for my exploration of the universe. Newton, indeed, Albert. And your work has further expanded that understanding. Can you share more about how you perceive gravity? Einstein, absolutely. In my general theory of relativity, gravity is not a force, as you suggested. Instead, it's a consequence of the curvature of spacetime caused by mass and energy. Newton, fascinating. In my Principia, I described gravity as a force causing two bodies to attract each other with a force proportional to their mass and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Einstein, that's a highly accurate and practical model for many scenarios. However, my theory explains gravity even under extreme conditions such as near a black hole or at velocities close to the speed of light. Instead of f equals g m1 m2, r squared, as in your universal law of gravitation, in general relativity, we deal with more complex tensor equations that describe how matter energy influences the curvature of spacetime. Newton, indeed, the tensor equations seem to encapsulate gravity in a broader sense. However, the mathematical complexity is undoubtedly higher than my relatively simpler formulation. Einstein, true, but that complexity allows for precise predictions in situations where classical physics might fail. For instance, the precession of the perihelion of Mercury or the bending of light as it passes near a massive object. Newton, very intriguing, Albert. It seems like our ideas provide different, yet vital, perspectives on understanding the universe. Einstein, I couldn't agree more, Sir Isaac. 